Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we will see how to use the stretch command in AutoCAD software, Salapan software. I'll be using the AutoCAD 2020 version. If you're using some other version, that's okay. There are no major changes in any of the versions. And I'll click on start drawing from here to open a new drawing area. So the stretch command is available in the modify panel over here, this one. So let us try the stretch command. But before that, just make sure you have the dynamic input option turned on. So if it is off, just turn it on. If the dynamic input option is on, you don't have to keep looking at the command line for the suggestions. So I'll draw a rectangle now. So if I select the rectangle now, you can see it is a single object. So note that before you can use the stretch command, you have to convert a single object into multiple objects. So in this case, the rectangle has four lines, but when I select it, all the four lines are getting selected at the same time. So you have to explode the rectangle using explode command so that you will have individual lines. So let us come to the explode command. Select the rectangle. Now press the enter key. So when I select the rectangle now, these are individual lines. So it is no more a single object. Got it. So I press the escape key now. Now let us apply the stretch command. So come to the stretch command. Now you have to select the lines which you want to stretch. And also note that you have to select the lines using crossing selection. So let us try the stretch command. So I'll start the crossing selection and I'll select these three lines. Now press the enter key. Now it is asking specify base point. So I will select one point, maybe over here and start dragging. So this is how you can stretch an object. Got it. So I'm not placing it anywhere over here, but in the original place. Let us try the stretch command once again. Come to the stretch command. Now it is asking select objects. So start the crossing selection and this time I will select these two lines and press the enter key. Now it is asking specify a base point. So I'll select this point here and I will start stretching the point and you can place it wherever you want. Got it. So this is how we use the stretch command. If you have any doubts, please comment below. Thank you.